there, nigga. Bitch. YouTube. What it do? It's your boy Leroy. Up next on King. Bitch. Back at it again with another video for y'all today, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. But look, man, today I'm going to be talking about holding your semen, man. Semen retention and the powers of semen retention that many young men of today's age do not know. Because if you notice, in today's age, what is the promotion of? What are all the music promoting? Uh, sex. Cardi B. Uh, Sexy Red. Uh, what's this girl named? Suki Hana. Not even just the music. Uh, just... I mean, yeah, the music is a, a a large indication, large factor that is influencing not only the youth, but the old people too. Like, a large group and mainly uh, people of my skin color. You know what I'm saying? So, you have to sit back and question like damn why is this stuff being promoted I mean sex has been sex has been kind of a part of the music culture for a while now but really it's gotten way more uh, what is the opposite of covert overt I, I think it's really gotten very overt so, this is very, 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 very destructive to the community, to people in general, because to men and women, and it's really, really crazy because guys, you know what I'm saying, they fall under the temptation, so like they don't even try to fight it like they are actually pursuing it if anything the, and even the guys that can't get women they can't sauce females and you know get them in the sheets and lead them to the bed and you know fuck have sex with them those guys are online Beating their meat to pixels, which I mean, I've done it before. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I'm guilty of it. But in hindsight, you know, what I'm saying looking back, it was something that was really destructive, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because you have to think about it, dude. When you're busting a nut, that is the essence that literally brings life onto this earth now you have to put in perspective do you know how powerful that essence that liquid must be to bring life on this earth a human being combined with the egg of a woman of course do you know how powerful that is why do you think you're so fucking tired after you bust the nut because dude it's super taxing it's draining on your body your body takes its best nutrients, okay? The best blood, because you didn't know, it takes away blood from you, it takes nutrients away from you, like chromosomes, it takes the best out of you and it tosses it out, okay? And then you have people doing this uh, very often okay now they don't tell you how bad it is actually for you but they lie to you and they'll tell you it's good they tell you uh you know if you bust a nut keeps your dick healthy prevents you from getting prostate cancer you know masturbation is healthy it's not healthy at all sex is a sacred practice it is a when you are having sex with a woman you are literally dancing like you're you're connecting with their soul okay and you have to understand that you really have to understand like lust 
why do you think lust is one of the seven deadly sins because lust being lustful operating in the mind frame of lust is destructive extremely destructive and if you want to see how destructive it can get we got pedophiles out here fam that's just about how destructive it could get got pedophiles you know what I'm saying things of that nature and not only is it destructive in that sense where you can literally go down a rabbit hole of doom but it's destructive on your own health much much more that shit causes depression that shit shortens your lifespan okay that's your life essence it's essence that brings life onto this earth it is your life essence you're using it you're having you're practicing sex for pleasure sex was not made for pleasure sex was made for creation okay now when you hold this essence this semen it rejuvenates you it has two roles the role of semen is to create and to rejuvenate you so when you hold on to this essence it rejuvenates you and now guess what you have all of this energy that you're able to put it into something else so so now you have to really think okay this essence is so powerful that I can literally bring another human into existence okay into existence what if you hold that same essence right and you put all of that focus and energy into building a business into building your body etc don't underestimate how powerful your semen is bro if you hold on to your semen and you lock in you focus on your mission on something that's gonna help and better you then guess what you're gonna become a beast it's gonna it's gonna become it's gonna you will reap the fruits of your labor it's gonna become into fruition okay I'm trying to help y'all understand this like really really understand this like you have to really internalize how sacred sex is listen man you fucking the bitch anyways basically telling her she's good enough to have your children you should never fuck a bitch i'm sorry excuse my language you should never fuck a female just because she's beautiful that's lust man you don't even know her like is she good enough to be your the mother of your child because that's what sex is for bro it's sacred okay it's super sacred because not only that when you're having sex with a woman you're literally like you get a part of her she gets a part of you you get like if she's depressed that stuff will rub off on you just from having sex with her it's deep it's sacred and i recommend y'all do y'all research it's i mean this kind of research is not easy to find but i can definitely put some some links down in, in the in the description or the comments because this in type of information they don't want you to know this they don't want you to know like how powerful you will become if all men were to just you know what I'm saying stop thinking with their dicks and to think with their head and heart and to actually respect themselves and respect women more because when you're doing this you're participating in casual sex or masturbation watching porn you are highly disrespecting yourself holding your seed is the highest uh, form of chastity that you can do 
think that's the right word. Man. This is the kind of information they don't want you to know. When you hold your seat. Holding in your life essence. There's many examples of this in nature. Literally within animals and plants. Okay, you don't see animals having sex as much as we do. A dog only gets in heat every six months. Okay? Even plants, like if you look at a tree, tree as soon as the tree grows up, it will if it were to first thing they're to do is provide fruit right after that it might not no longer produce fruit it's better if you give the tree like time to develop itself and hold on to that essence before it even produces fruit like it's crazy and if you got guys here busting two three nuts a day to a screen you got guys here that are fucking bitches every other day that they don't know okay when really when you're being lustful if you didn't know also when you're being lustful you're in your feminine energy bro you a guy bro stop chasing cat you're supposed to be chasing your mission bettering yourself as a man I know she look good, bro. I know she look good. Listen, I be around my baby mama and I still be falling under temptation sometimes, man. Temptation just be calling me, bro. But we have to learn to discipline ourselves and become sexually disciplined. Because if you look now, there's guys out here super young that are fathers and I bet 100% bet you they weren't planning on it because guess what we're not financially ready yet we're young guess what now half of these niggas want to get an abortion half of them don't and they actually become fathers but still it would have been better being sexually disciplined and then building a strong foundation for you and for whoever else comes into your life. We have to focus on building our bodies, becoming men of substance, building our characters, and building our foundation, our financial success, and becoming men of value, okay? We have to really, really build our foundation. And then, after that, we can date. And then once we date, we don't even just... Even just because we're rich and have the body and stuff. Even then, you still would have to make sure the woman is worthy enough. Okay? She has to be worthy enough. You cannot still just fuck her because she's pretty being lustful you have to look at who she is as a person cause that surface level shit of just fucking off looks man that's not it bro and if you operating off that mindset you need to grow up and you need to get out of that cause that's not gonna get you nowhere but losing energy you busting out you losing energy you think you're winning because you're getting pussy. You're losing energy. The energy that you could have been putting towards your foundation, your body. All guys should be working out, man. You should be building your body. You don't want to be in that feminine state lusting over women. Never, ever, 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 ever do you want to be in that position. 
and I mean it's bound to happen biologically it's bound to happen and this is where the self-control and the discipline comes in you know what I'm saying don't beat yourself up for making mistakes but always have that awareness that if you do happen to make the mistake hey man I need to tighten up you know what I'm saying I need to control myself and be more disciplined because now you're being weak you're being weak for her beauty you're falling into the weakness of that pussy do not be weak my friend be strong okay why you think in every single religion not every single religion but countless of religions they preach you know uh like these kind of morals because this shit is sacred fam like open your eyes like really like really really like pay attention look in between the lines and it's like people forget or they don't pay attention or they don't notice or connect the dots because of society and how much sex is actually promoted oh man i just bagged this girl oh you the man bro ah fam what fuck you doing bro what you doing out here you out here smashing random chicks man what's wrong with you bro what's wrong with you even with, with your with your girlfriend your girlfriend you and your girlfriend should not have be having sex unless y'all want to have a child period it's not used for pleasure because it affects the woman's health too it's not used for pleasure it's extremely taxing on your body it shortens your lifespan it affects your mental health constantly busting nuts you losing those nutrients the best nutrients to create life your body uses the best nutrients to create life and you're constantly busting nuts why do you think it causes depression brain fog you want to take a nap right after you bust a nut you don't even want to go to the gym you're just about to do leg day your girl all, all up on you like oh baby don't leave Oh, let me get one in before I hit before I go to the gym. Now you fucking tired. You can't hit the workout the same way you was gonna do it. Or you might just not even go. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, I hope this information here resonated with you guys. I will touch on the topic again and again and again. Just to make sure, you know. You guys are getting it you guys are it's reaching you guys some guys might not see this video some may do you know what i'm saying it's all good i'm gonna remember here i'm gonna be consistent i'm gonna drop videos a lot you know what i'm saying i'm gonna lock in now i'm gonna be here for you guys because i feel like it's my duty as a man to preach this information that i know because a lot of guys don't know i feel like me personally as a man i have a lot of awareness I'm not saying I know it all but I know a lot more than the average guy in the matrix okay and it's my duty to spread this awareness okay and bring light to these things to make a better world okay but obviously to make a better world the best thing for me to do is self transformation but in the end me doing God's work and putting the word out here on this camera so you, so you can see it on your screen on your device is ultimately wonderful and epic now I need you to put in the work and do the self transformation for everyone else around you okay and also spread the word to your loved ones friends and family guys and gals okay love you all don't forget to pray this morning and uh peace man anyways it's your boy leroy and i'm up next on game bitch